Alright everybody, Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. And you know what, I, I thought I'd just share some ideas on what to do when you're fishing for walleyes and fishing gets a little bit sluggish. It might be that there's a pressure system moving through and turn the fish off. Maybe it's not uh, morning, evening and in the lake you're fishing, uh, it's, you know, during the day isn't so hot. You know, maybe it's the uh, middle of February and there's not as much oxygen in the system. Whatever the reason might be, there are times when those fish are not as uh, active as we'd like them to. They don't respond to our lures as well. So here are some things that I like to do that have helped me put more fish into the bucket. First off, when they're sluggish like that, uh, when we talk about a dead stick, because normally we do the one-two punch, we do the jigging line and then we do a dead stick. You know, one of the things, this, uh, this lure right here, it's called like a rock and roll jig like Tom's Tackle, but this jig, what I like to do is I like to hook that up traditionally. Now, if they're not biting real good and they're real sluggish, sometimes what I'll do is instead of putting this on my dead stick, I'll actually jig with this. And what I'll do is instead of using an entire minnow, I'll use just a piece of the minnow. Let me show you what I mean. What I'll do is I'll take a, a minnow like this fathead, and I'm just going to pinch off the back tail section, just a small presentation. And I want to try to make it clean when I pinch it off if I can. Something like that. Just a little piece. But now i got some good meat right there I can hook into. Then what I'll do is I'll take this jig, and I'm just going to either thread it on or just hook into a piece of it. So let me show you what I mean here. Uh, if I just get a little bit of meat of that jig hooked, it's slippery, so it's hard to get. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have plenty of, uh, uh, of minnow that's hooked on here, so it's going to stay on there. And of course, wouldn't you know, my hands are so slippery from catching fish, they can't hook it. There we go. Okay, so, okay. so check that out. So I got a, I got a jig. But I've got a real small offering on there. Yet, that small offering still has scent and it still has flash. So what I do is when I jig that, that's real subtle. And when those fish are light biting and they're subtle, that smaller offering can be what can, uh, can be the ticket. You know, when they grab that, normally I'm going to get a hook into them. So that can be, you know, one way to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, another thing I like to do, this is, a, this is called a jig of it. You know, oftentimes just having a smaller minnow hanging on that jig of it. A small minnow just kind of fluttering down there about six inches to a foot off. Small minnow could be the ticket as well. You know, when you talk about jigging, what I like to do is when things get tough, I like to go finesse. I like to downsize if I can. So, here are some different ideas. On Lake of the Woods, this is a, one of my favorite lures. This is a macho minnow, and it's golden red on one side, and it's got that glow red on the other, but it's got that little flapper tail down by the treble, and I think that adds some, uh, some noise. But that lure, with a real small piece of minnow head or a real small piece of tail, can sometimes trigger some good fish. Um, in addition, I want to show you, this is a buckshot rattle, real small size. Look how small that size is. I really downsize it. And of course, another one I like here is, uh, this is that clam uh, rattle spoon. Small size. I love that pink on Lake of the Woods. And then when you flip it over... You got the, uh, actually this one's not a rattle, this one's a without the rattle. And actually that's a good point because sometimes rattles work, sometimes those fish like a little bit quieter, but I do like the gold fleck on that. The gold on Lake of the Woods and the pink on Lake of the Woods are two hot colors. Smaller size if you notice. And then of course, this goes against logic, but sometimes when fishing isn't real hot and those fish are real lethargic, what I want to do is I want to trigger a strike, just like I would when I'm trolling with a crankbait. You know, when you're trolling with a crank, Sometimes those fish aren't even in the mood to eat, but they're going to reach out and strike a crankbait because it's, it's an injured middle cruising in front. It's decision time. They've got to act now. Same thing with ice fishing. You can create that reaction strike when things are sluggish at times. So, um, you know what? Oh, i got a fish on here. Oh, there you go. I better pull this fish in first. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, my dead stick went when I'm filming. Feels like we got a saw there, but I'm not sure. You know what, it's not bad when you get a fish while you're uh, filming a, a fishing tip, I guess. <laughs> That's a decent fish. It's coming up here. Look at that, nice, uh, nicer fish. Nice stop. I got another line, too. Now, I'm going to show you what happened with this one. This is a fish, uh, this is a fish I got on a dead stick. And if I can show you, it's a blade, I got it on a blade spoon. Wow. Let me just pop them out of here. Yeah. 
Nice solder. Good one for the, the separate table. But uh, probably a 13, 14 inch solder. Not a bad one. But you can see what I'm using here. I'm using a blade spoon. And I just had that tip with a live minnow under a bobber. And uh, obviously that did, uh, did the trick. So let's set that down on the table in a second here. So keep on going. So I was talking about getting that reaction strike when, when things are real sluggish. Uh, just like a crankbait. A couple lures I really like. First off, this lure. This is one of my go-tos on Lake of the Woods. This is a, 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 a cicada. And this is by Reef Runner. This is a vibrating blade lure. You could be using a zip lure. You could be using a head and sonar. But any kind of vibrating blade, when you rip it, it's brr, brr. And oftentimes what I'll do is I'll put a chunk of just a little piece of the middle tail, just a little piece so it doesn't screw up the action, on that front hook. And uh, that'll sometimes trigger a lot of fish. Usually what happens when I'm using this lure is I'll be ripping and, and kind of lethargic watching my vexilar and such. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a red line will appear um, two feet off the bottom. And I'll reel up to it and go dink, dink, and boom, it's going to eat. That fish is hot. That fish came in to feed on that uh, injured minnow. Another lure I like to use, of course, is a, a jigging wrap. Just a common jigging wrap, but you know that the different of action of that uh, lure spinning around, darting, jumping up and down, hitting the mud, that can trigger some strikes. Another one I like, of course, is a chubby darter. A little bit bigger profile. It's got the rattles in it. And of course, uh, it's just it's, it's a different kind of motion, different kind of uh, uh, action under the, under the ice. And finally, the rip and wrap. You know this one, hear those rattles in there? Between the flash and those rattles, that can bring some fish in. Now, one of two things can happen. You can get a reaction strike on this lure, which they'll whack it, or all that noise will pull fish in, and then they'll slide over and hit your dead stick. So, you know, just some ideas that when you're out in that fish house the next time, and things are getting a little bit sluggish, mix it up. The point of it is, do something different. I'll tell you one other thing I like to do. Hey, I got a friend of mine who uh, we had wax worms with one time. We took a small jigging spoon, Tipped it with waxworms, he had a hot stick all day. He was catching walleyes and saugers right in the mud. You never know what's going to trigger, but you got to try something different if what you're doing isn't working. Hey, with that, good fishing, everybody. Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. Check it out.